Welcome on in, Libra. This is a sneak peek into the last quarter of 2022. And it's just a quick little overview of a much longer video that I have available on Etsy. And so in this video, I get into a lot more depth and detail for those of you who value it. As you can see, this is a video where, you know, we start off with the astrology, we get into cards for October, November, December, and then we end with Oracle card advice. And it's timestamp so you can click ahead and you always have access to this once you buy it you've got unlimited access to keep referring back as you get through the months now before i get into the astrology portion i start off with pulling some overarching energies for these last three months of the year and look at this my gosh this prosperity card and destiny card really represents good things going your way really having a lot of faded favor but there is a word of caution here you need to be careful with the choices that you're making. We're going to see this energy, by the way, show up again because this represents the sun card. And we get into the tarot spreads. You're going to see that sun card coming up a couple more times. So fantastic omen that not only do you have good fortune and blessings coming for you, but the ability to see the truth clearly is going to come more and more in your view as we get into these months ahead. So when I get into the astrology, what I'm doing is shuffling and seeing what cards randomly pop out as we're talking about, you know, your Saturn, your Jupiter transits, Mars, the eclipses, and just give also a bit of a sneak peek into what's headed for you in 2023 so you can get an idea of where things are headed. And I think that when you come into this last quarter of the year, money is going to be more on your mind because you're going to have Jupiter in that sixth house. However, as you get closer to the end of the year, like in December, you are going to be looking more at relationships. And that's likely because of what's happening next year with relationships. I mean, number one, a lot of eclipses in your sign and your opposite sign of Aries in 2023. But number two, you have Jupiter going into that seventh house, which is yes, very Libran, but also about you partnering. So if you are not seeing what you really want to see in October, November with relationships, buckle up because you've got a lot of energy supporting you moving in that direction. Now getting into October, as you can see here, there's that lovely sun card again. So really great omen overall. And yeah, there might have been some uh, difficult conversations that you had to deal with in the recent past, particularly with, you know, Mars and Gemini that we're all dealing with over the ne next seven months. But I just see you uh, using a lot of restraint here. And I think this is because you've got a lot of responsibilities that you're dealing with at this time and trying to move things forward despite all of this that you're carrying. I do want to caution you, however, watch out about disagreements. And I think, yes, if there are any kind of verbal battles going on or disputes, it's going to highlight where the agreement is and isn't to hopefully help move you forward. Now, with your love life in October, looks like you might have, you know, an opportunity for a new sexual union here. My concern is that if you're looking for, you know, somebody to be emotionally connected and committed, it appears to be a miss. Some of you have already been dealing with this um, or you're coming into this month with, you know, perhaps a, a background as a divorcee or, you know, just dealing with prospects who were non-committal, non-supportive. And I just don't like what I'm seeing here that there's, it's almost like you, you know, you're getting breadcrumbed or you're dealing with people who really don't have much to offer anyway. And that might be why they can't really give their all in this relationship. I am seeing in the undercurrent, you or people around you, there's this energy of not doing the self-awareness work or not giving someone a second chance. And I do see from beginning to end, you know, there's some issue of emotional disconnect it's like okay well the sex could be there but you know the emotional connection the commitment the stability security it really seems still a miss in october i'm sorry to say on the money front it looks like you are trying to be very resourceful here but i think you're pulling back from people and i think that maybe in the past you stepped out really confidently but you may have gotten some bad advice from somebody you trusted about money because i see in the future you know you are having to maybe accept some losses and move on again, you might have gotten some bad advice and taken some bold action that maybe was ill-advised. And now in the undercurrent, it seems like you are trying to 
you know, juggle resources or make um, decisions that are going to help you adapt and make the positive changes. In the outcome, though, I see that part of the changes that are going to happen are you dropping some burdens and some responsibilities. Again, maybe because you were ill-advised to take things on that perhaps you should not have. Okay, so in November, again, I'm seeing a lot of possibilities here. And you're very mindful about getting stability and security. And if you have children or want children, I see this issue showing up pretty prominently. I'm seeing children all throughout this spread. If children are not relevant here, it's just maybe something about your childhood or the past. And there could be some regrets being expressed about this. But in the undercurrent of it all, it seems super positive because look, there's that sun card yet again, bringing some healing, bringing some clarity. And by November, it looks like you're making a decision where, remember, we had that in reverse in October. So there was some difficulty in giving someone or something a second chance or making a decision. Now, uh, you, there's a decision being made. And perhaps it's because somebody finally in November does, you know, the self-awareness work. So I do want to caution you in November because it seems as though some of you may be dealing with, dare I say, a three-party situation. I do not see cheating here, but it's almost as if there's some kind of back burner relationship. And this could be coming from a place of somebody being put out of a situation or they feel like they're not getting their needs met, their values are not being addressed. And so I see a lot of holding back here, and I don't know that there's there's any uh, cheating going on necessarily, but they maybe have options that they're considering, and they're not really talking about it because I, I am seeing an energy of somebody maybe trying to avoid a conflict, maybe looking at somebody else who's still involved with another person, and they're waiting for that person to come available. I see a lot of waiting here, trying to avoid a fallout, and they feel like they're at a la loss for someone or something. Again, I'm seeing a lot of burden and responsibility with that Ten of Wands that I've seen show up before. So it's almost like the effort here is not being shared is the gist of it. That's really kind of holding this all together that maybe if they felt their effort would be matched, they would step out and they would do something. But because it's not, they're kind of holding off and holding back. And I am seeing in the outcome, somebody may eventually put some kind of romantic gesture out there but it seems to be quite a modest one i don't really see that they're giving their all of this sorry to say again because they may already be partnered with someone else now when it comes to money in november and career as well be aware of what people are saying and, and it could be combative you know communications definitely with mars and gemini i think that in the past uh, you had some happy exchanges with these people and um, these people are, you know, teams that you work on or groups that you network in or, you know, people that you collaborate with. However, what I'm seeing in the future is, is a lack of, of support and commitment. And that may cause you to let go of some beliefs that you had about the way things should be done or the way things ought to be. And you might also be changing your approach to business and, and doing things in, in a bit of an unconventional way, whereas you wouldn't have before. What I see really hinging this all together is either a business leader in your field of work could be a supervisor, or if you run your own business, this is your own business, okay? This is really what is kind of hinging all of this together. But in the outcome here, I'm seeing that, that judgment card showing up yet again in reverse. So I'm just going to say this is going to be the third time I've seen this card. And, and it went from October reverse, November upright and reverse. Is there some flip-flopping going on, <laughs> Libra? Are you being indecisive? You or someone around you, but I would venture to say it's probably Libra. Okay, because y'all could be guilty of that, right? So just be aware of this. Somebody making a decision, not making a decision. Making a, you just, you know, I think you got to pick a side of the fence. Some of you... Uh, maybe things getting flip-flopped on you by other people and you're just having to kind of navigate those changes. Now let's talk about December. I do feel this is a, a month where, you know, if you weren't getting a commitment in November, because I did see that, uh, you know, over here in November, well, you could finally be get getting some kind of commitment, particularly in these groups that you've been networking and very important in the month of December. If this is not about, you know, your social life, social media, your friend groups that you're meeting up with, if this is not about, you know, colleagues and professional networking, then 
this is about having more of a cooperative spirit in your relationships and relationships also are factoring pretty strong here where something about beliefs are coming up and commitments as well commitments have been all through this spread so far and so if people around you have been stressing you out i think by december you are out of the worst of it okay remember jupiter's going in your seventh house next year okay so these relationships and getting good commitment cooperation from other people it's going to go up from here okay and the cards are affirming what the astrology affirms it so you know if you close out this year where you feel like i you know there's misunderstandings i'm having trouble manifesting or i'm not clear what i need to manifest you will get clear and you know also with your love life in december it seems that there hasn't been an issue of you or someone around you holding yourself back and i think this has been going on for a bit too long i do feel in december you may finally decide to separate yourself from this and just cut loose of whatever this self-imposed blockage is and it could be that you're cutting loose of this so that you can actually um maybe put yourself out there and date people perfect timing for jupiter in the seventh house next year if you're not putting yourself out to date other people what i see is you being very resourceful look at that from beginning to end with the magician's card you looking at being resourceful in all areas of your life but particularly in relationships at the end of this year trying to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations where you do get on the same page with someone that you care a lot about be aware though of somebody being very stubborn and stingy and not opening up there may be difficulty getting closure or getting success with this person so be aware of what you're manifesting and who you're manifesting it with because it seems like you will have to in order to break the stagnancy you will have to break yourself free of something you've held back on painful as it is uh, putting some separation there uh, between whatever has held you back from moving forward so that you can finally uh, move on successfully on the career front i do see that december could be a time where there's difficulty and you getting forward movement and it might have to do with a lack of discipline or egos running the show i do see possibly misunderstandings have occurred by december or just delays that are really frustrating you nevertheless it looks like things are moving really positively financially for you in terms of being very self-sufficient because you've been putting a lot a lot of hard work into something and i do see the outcome here is a brand new beginning possibly having to do with travel uh, or creative projects and so if things are not quite moving forward this month don't don't worry about it it's coming okay okay so the oracle card advice here is about abundance and um you know finding the funding the resources i told you you're going to be resourceful these last three months okay but you are probably going to have to communicate and assert your needs out there so that they do get met and i think if you do that you're going to be met with a lot of support yes i saw some moments where there's some flip-flopping going on then you know and it's between this am i going to support this or i'm not going to support that but overall you're being told to go on and put your needs out there and you will ultimately by the end of this year get the support that you need and that you deserve because there it's out there waiting for you okay and on the love front make the effort new love is coming to you okay again i can't emphasize enough jupiter in the seventh house next year wow jealous here okay as your fellow air sign i'm really really hopeful for you so stay encouraged like i said if you want to know more you want to get more depth and detail on this reading come visit me on etsy you can follow my shop there and um remember i've got leo and cancer and aquarius over there already i only do requested signs by the way and that's why these are this the signs that i have because they were requested on my community page and i will be putting out messages coming up you know asking for requests on who what signs you would like requested for the 2023 annual readings but for now these are the signs that I have along with my video books and my handcrafted sage spray so if you want to you know keep in touch with what's what content is available only here on Etsy please connect with me I'll have the link for you down below also if you want to just be made aware of when these readings become available make sure you subscribed and you've activated the bell for notification 
on my YouTube channel because that's gonna make you aware of any community posts that I have, right? Where I put out so reminders of when we're going live for the free tarot every full and new moon. And then when I do put, you know, messages out here, right? Like I, this, these people are gonna be the first to know when that content is available on Etsy. And I put a little summary right here, you know, if you just wanna read real quick and get a link real quick. But these are the first people to know when readings and content are available. So make sure that you have activated the bell for notifications. Okay, so that's all for now. Thanks for watching and I look forward to connecting with you again soon.